Hello guys, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is a series of tutorials on scientific programming using Python. Now, in the last video, we saw uh, the solution to the second problem. Like, I gave a problem uh, wherein, I, we just uh, were discussing a problem wherein uh, you have a vertical profile of relative humidity and then you have a surface temperature and surface pressure based on which you are supposed to calculate several parameters like the vertical distribution of vertical profile of temperature, pressure, saturation vapor pressure and several other factors including kinetic energy, including the total energy, moist static energy and so on and so forth. Now, uh, the thing is, we plot, we got the data alright, okay. Now, here's a query. Would it be nice if we can just plot our data that will be good, right? Now, that's what we are going to do today. We are going to start plotting. Okay? And to start, and if you want to start your plotting, okay, what you need is that you need this library called as Matplotlib. Okay? And then, in that library, we don't need everything in that library as of now. We just need a, only a small portion of the library called, I mean, a, a class in the library called as PyPlot. So what you do is that you have to include matplotlib dot pyplot in a, in your programs where you want to ask, uh, do with plotting. Now just a reminder, matplotlib is one among the many plotting libraries available in Python. Okay, matplotlib is the uh, most ba essential one, uh, well developed and essential one. There are others like pylab, and uh, even there are compl other uh, kind of uh, plotting libraries also. Uh, it's better, I mean, I, matplotlib is easy and the basic one, and it's the, based on this, other plotting libraries are made, made, so this is like a good one to start with. So if you want to include matplotlib, include this line on the top of your program or wherever, from, uh, from wherever uh, you want to include it, okay? Once inclusion of this line is sufficient. So as I told you guys in the one of the previous tutorials, okay, uh, you can include... Uh, the libraries in three forms okay the first line you're including matplotlib.pyplot alone that class pyplot alone as with a with an alternate alias name called as plt okay now this plt can be anything okay uh, it, it can give anything but it's not a problem but if you just give a shot uh, any name that is easy for you to follow is fine but more if you look at the literature or literature or any examples that you might find in the internet, you might find with PLT to be common. Okay. Other than that, you also have the speech. You also have the feature to import this like uh, class se separately, like this, like from my matplotlib import pyplot, like this. Okay. Otherwise, you can also imp you can also replicate the same thing as you go on the top, as this. Same as case one, but it's just an elaborate expansion. That is it. Okay. Now with that, let's begin our let's begin our data. Okay, now if you guys go to Spider, this is the program I've run last time. Okay, and I have the data ready here. I plot, calculate all the values here, and the data are ready in the console over here. Let's plot it. Now to start with, let's plot pressure and altimeter, altitude. Now the, there is one. You know, to plot it, what you need is that you need this command called as function call as or a feature called as plot that's what you need okay and to make sure this is available you have to make sure that to use this command plt dot plot okay i'll explain guys what's going on in this line i'll tell you what it is okay here go to your spider go to your ipython console then embed in your spider edit uh, editor ide if you type percentage space okay matplotlib okay um matplotlib inline okay what this say i mean this will say that uh, okay let me go to the presentation for this if you say matplotlib inline it makes all the plots that uh, that you make available in the console itself so if you make any plot over here, any plot any plotting comments over here the results of those plotting comments will come in this console okay now instead we want the plots to come in a separate uh, window. Type something called as mat percentage space matplotlib qt, or you can also type uh, 
percentage space map plot lib what is that ah think think kinter kinter as well these are just uh, plot these are just gui libraries in python you can use any one of these qt or t or kinter with t silent okay any one of this is fine i'm using qt but it doesn't matter you can just experiment with this kinter as well so press this in and uh, remember this is actually a magic command in ipython console what it means is that this is not a this is not a standard command in uh, python console python library uh, python compiler it is a compa it is a command specific to Py ipython okay and if you guys want this feature to be available in python you may have to do a little more of work but this is simple this will be simple so all your plots will come all your plots will come in a separate window since i have done this now let's copy this let's plot pressure and pressure versus altimeter okay now since your altitude alti since your altitude is actually the dependent variable more usually it's like it's like what you do is that you you be using something like uh, put the altitude put the depend independent variable on the x axis and the pressure on the y axis and then give a label okay label to be okay um label to be pre okay if i enter okay if i enter you will get a plot something like you will get a plot like this okay and the y axis on the y axis you have your pressure on x axis you have your altitude okay now here here you might be asking something for this problem pressure should be in x axis and altitude should be y axis because uh, th that makes little visualization easy like as you go up the pressure drops right so if you want if you want that kind of a realistic sense or realistic feel okay then what do you do you have to interchange these two so how do you do that it's not it's simple just interchange the values over here so what i'm going to do uh, just interchange these values over here and that's it okay if i press enter there you have it now your altitude is in x axis and your pressure is in y axis okay okay that's it about the basic plotting for today that's it about the basic plotting okay one dimensional plotting okay now if you do this if i were to continue this is how this is the same plot is occurring over here this is i made this in presentation now this is easy to this is easy to visualize just that the thing is that just remember that uh, you should not stick to the conventional x y notations here sometimes that do, they they do not make sense okay in the next tutorial the next tutorial we will see about how to make plots having the same x axis and y axis but different y axis and uh, how to how to make plots having same y axis but different x axis and uh, superimposing plots and so on okay thank you guys for watching and uh, i'll see you guys next tutorial